Hey guys, so 2015 is coming to a close and with the new year coming up, there's a few things that we should leave behind in 2015. Reimagining Disney princesses. We don't need to know what Ariel would look like if she had the face of Saw. We don't need to know what Jasmine would look like if she was overweight. We do not need to know if Belle looks a certain way when she's 75 years old. We don't need to know this. Leave them alone. Don't know, really know how to pronounce it? Musically videos. Whatever. We don't need your little videos. We don't need that. The shaking of the screen. We don't need it. We don't want to watch it. It's annoying. If we could leave the glow up challenge or whatever that was, the don't judge me challenge, that'd be great as well. Also, if you could leave the stupid upgrade button, uh, that would be great too because obviously we know that you don't look the same as you did when you were five. Congratulations. That's just called growing up. Another thing that I would so be able to live without in 2016 is goals. Goals, 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 relationship goals, oh my gosh, teacher goals, oh my gosh, breathing air goals. We don't need any more goals, we don't. Boy holds girl's hand, goals. Shut up. Like it was really fun at first, you know, like goals, goals, and they turned to a joke, like goals, goals, but now it's kind of like, you know, like, <laughs> it's getting annoying. Another thing we should leave in 2015, waist trainers. Trust me, it, it sounds all great, right? Like it just, whoop. And you know, you're, you're, you have that hourglass figure, mmm, looks nice, yeah. You take it off, it's still there, it's bad for your organs, it literally pushes them all down and like, compacts them in a little tiny little boop right there. That's not good, like gastrointestinal problems or something like that that goes with it. That's not cute. And like, literally, like it doesn't help you lose weight at all. You take the waist trainer off, it's still there. Leave it in 2015. Words we should leave in 2015. These nuts, what are those lit and on fleek? They were fun. Another thing that we need to do in 2016 and leave in 2015 is comparing us to other people. We need to love ourselves and that is something that I need to work on as well. But honestly, life would be so much easier and so much more happier if we didn't focus on who we should look like, what we need to do next. It'll just be, it'll honestly just be so much, so much simpler and so much easier for us. Squat challenges. Trust me, if you're doing like 200 squats, unweighted squats a day, and you're focusing on your legs every single day, you're not going to see that big of a difference, and you really need to stop. No. No squat challenges. No, no, shh, shh. Shut up. Shh, shh. Just do weighted squats, and you'll see results so much faster. So there. So that's what I would like to leave in 2015. I hope your New Year's is great, and honestly, let's just leave everything from 2015, everything bad, and just just leave it there in the past, and welcome 2016 with open arms. It's a new year. Just... It's like a clean slate and just start all over. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.